Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Real Geek. And this time I'm gonna be reviewing the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly. Now the Dragon Ball Super Bro movie Broly is actually the, the fourth film in this super series. Um, this course, there's been other Dragon Ball Z movies, um, I think more than 10 movies. Uh, now we got the latest movie coming from Akira Toriyama and it's actually the retelling, the reboot, I guess, of the character Broly. Now, as, as we all know, Broly wasn't canon in the previous movies and he was only a movie character. He wasn't canon in any of the Dragon Ball series, so he was only in the movies. So Broly's first appearance was actually in Dragon Ball Z, the legendary Super Saiyan was back in 1993. And since then, they put out three Broly movies since then uh, during the Dragon Ball Z timeline. Uh, now we've got a new creation straight from the Akira Toriyama Dragon Ball Super Broly, which is actually canon to the Dragon Ball Super storyline. So throughout, he's actually canon. And also at the same time, it's almost like a, an origin story of Goku and Vegeta because they, it shows them as babies and it shows their parents and so forth and so forth. So it's almost like an origin story for all the main characters. Now, me being a Dragon Ball fan, I, I was fully entertained. I, I was pumped up to see this movie. Uh, when it came out, I was just like stoked. Okay, they got a new Dragon Ball movie coming out. I was kind of sad that they stopped production of Dragon Ball Super, but I, as far as I can hear, that they're it's supposed to bring it back. So any new Dragon Ball Super was like, this, I just want to see it. As far as I can tell in this one, the animation is superior, I think, prior to every other Dragon Ball movie and anime. You can tell that the animation is just like top notch. And that's probably like one of the best things about this movie is like the animation is just like, you couldn't get any, any better for a Dragon Ball than this. Now as the story goes, it's pretty good. It kept me entertained and it got me a little backstory on a lot of the characters. It kind of dragged on in the beginning um, with the origin story wise, it, it kind of dragged on just a bit, but not enough to get you bored and kind of like doze off, but it was it was kind of like lagging a little bit as far as pacing wise. But then the second half of the film is when really get get you pumped up because that's when all you, you know, the fighting goes around and Broly going against Goku and Vegeta. And it, it's just it's just all a brawl and it it turned out really good and I liked it. All in all, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, definitely got to see this movie. I mean, it's it was a no brainer. You have to see this movie. Um, the casual anime fan, you'll love this movie too. It's a good movie. Um, just go out and see this. It's in select theaters right now. It's not rural, It's not in every single theater out there, so you have to check your local theaters and see if it's playing around you. Now, for my rating for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, I'm going to have to give it four Brolies out of five. So what did you guys think? Did you guys like the new Dragon Ball Super movie? Was it good? Did you like it? Uh, did you miss it? You know, are you going to see it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You're supposed to be about once a week. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.